Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And we are coming to the end of Control, I believe. We've got two more things to do. And one of them is to complete at least one game on the Shoom machine. So let's get into it. Try this. Uh, what's crowd control? Survive against a horde of hiss. Okay, well. Hello? Okay, there we go. Hmm. That'll do. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Okay. Oh. What's that? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, yeah. Most handy, most handy having somebody that big on your side. Very nice. Love it.
Hmm. Okay. Not got that many more to go now, I don't think. Oh, there you are, are you? Boy. Marvellous. Hey, we did it! Look at that! We did it, baby! Shoom! We did it! Well, hey! Brilliant! Yes, indeed. It. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so in terms of our missions we yeah hiss knows maybe we should go and do that actually although we only got four minutes to get there but that's fine case files what what arcade cabinet supplement shroom arcade cabinets ai 40 dash pe background both items were purchased from a closing arcade in redacted michigan as part of a program to improve employee well-being through recreation the program was cancelled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house but not before these altered items were discovered supplementary information teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items see research specialist pope's paper titled the parasensitivity of sequels for more information however after proving the items altered status the investigation staff insisted on keeping them claiming that they were important for the sector morale to date numerous petitions have been filed by sec by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Really? Well, all right. Let's um, let's head over to the communications department. Sort this out. Okay. So this way. Communications. Here we are. So I assume we have to go up. Oh yeah. Here we go. We've only got three minutes. Oh, God. No, it's down, isn't it? Never mind. All right, I'm here. I can hear it. it sounds goopy. Oh, yeah, destroy the hiss nodes. Here we are. Have a whole mail cart to the face. Okay. I mean, that works. Go! You'll come in handy. Okay, I've uh, back to just, yeah. Oh, there you are, are you? Well. Okay, where are the rest of these nodes? Hello, sir. Kill. We'll make 
use of you. You're mine, boy. That it? Oh no. Oh, a whole cart to the face. Good God. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What the hell? Wow. Okay. So. There we go. So we've only got the jukebox to do now. And then that's it. My God. How marvellous. How bloody marvellous. Okay. Oof. That was that was intense. But do you know what? Do you know what? We did it. And we're all the better for it. Okay. I haven't had a moment to think about the mould since the hiss appeared. No. Well, I suppose when the hiss get here, it's a little, um, yeah. A little distracting. Now. Took on an astral spike. God, what a badass. Well, okay, yeah. I think it was through a door, wasn't it? it was through a door. Here we go. The jukebox. Alright. Well, let's do it. You just gotta remember there's a time limit. Okay, so we've got 20 minutes. Oh no, 25 minutes, sorry. So we need to hurry along. Can we, hello? Thank you. Okay. Alright. Let's razzmatazz our way over here. Get these cleared up. I will probably do a lot of this sort of off camera because... Y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen it all. You've seen me doing this. Oh, one more to go. One more to go, folks. And then we're done. specimen data and I believe it's here. Grab this. I think we've just got to survive a horde of yeah waves of waves of hiss. Okay. You can come here. Be a friend. Be a pal.
got a friend. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Have a block to the head. I'm sure it hurts. Oh, that looked like it really hurt, didn't it? Any more? Oh, there you go. Okay. One more wave to go. And then we are home free. Thank God. Oh, there you are, are you? We got a big boy. Now we can return to the formation. Oh, hey, look at that, folks. We did it. Bloody hell. With six minutes to spare. Holy guacamole. That took some doing, let me tell you. But I think we're there. We're there. We're there. Ah, I see. So we have to. We have to. Okay. So we have to. Okay. any means to hurt it. We did it! We actually bloody well did it! So what have we got here? Well hey! So we got a some health upgrades and stuff. Oh and another token. Oh brilliant! And we did it in 21 minutes! Awesome! And we've returned. Good timing. Yeah! Good timing indeed. Well, what else is there? 
Absolutely nothing. We have done everything we can, folks. But what have we got in terms of collectibles here? Let's have a look. Jukebox. Songmaster Jukebox OOP10-KE. Containment procedure. Item is to be kept in a secure location in the executive sector. See Security Order 239-A. The room must be sealed before usage to prevent in unintentional transportation of staff. Description slash para utility. utility. A classic 1950s jukebox made by Songmaster Entertainment Limited. The jukebox was found with a single record inside titled A Song for the Others by Redacted. When this record is played in the object, anyone within earshot is translocated for as long as the album is playing. This, those involved in the object's first known incident report being transported to a tropical beach. Exact location unknown. When this object is used in the oldest house, it only transports users to an area located in the recently manifested quarry threshold. Researchers theorise that the site's unique spatial density results in all transitioning material gravitating to its position, as has been observed with other bureau equipment. The oldest house's unique nature could also be having an effect on the object itself. This object is not bound to any known individual. Attempts by bureau staff to bind it have resulted in redacted and should not be tempted again. Well, there you have it. There you have it. I think we have done absolutely everything there is possible to do. We've got no more missions. We've got no more nothing. We've got loads of tokens for the jukebox, but yeah. I fear that's it. Unless has Arish got anything else to say? The there you are. Yes. Did you, uh, did you find those rangers at the formation? I found them. But it's not good news. Hmm. The Hiss got there first. Lots of them. Oh, another dead team. Jesus. You know, I should have seen this coming. The formation, it's got like a, a pull to it. Things just end up there. I'm sure you saw all the junk from the Bureau lying around. There were a lot of hiss, Arish. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot. Did they get pulled in too? Well, they forced their way in. The formation is just a big question mark to us. But who knows? You might even find some useful stuff down there. All I know is... We cannot let the hiss get comfortable. Sounds like you have a plan. Uh-huh. A simple one. You need to find more tokens and clear the hiss the fuck out of the formation. That is simple. Oh, and I found a file on the formation while you were gone. You take a look for yourself if you want. A lot of the terms in there are way beyond me. Okay. <laughs> I don't like to overcomplicate these situations. When in doubt, fuck it. Shoot something, right? <laughs> Real helpful, Arish. Yeah. I try. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah. You know where I'll be. I don't know why we suddenly went all blurry. That was a little bit weird. All right. The whole place is a little blurry, actually. But, well, never mind. Okay, so Arisha's given us one last thing to do, I think, by the looks of it. Oh, no. The formation. Here we go. Examination of paranatural topics. Interwoven causality of the formation. Summary. The formation is a tall stone structure found in quarry site beta, only reachable by placing distinct tokens into the jukebox object of power, COOP10, case file for details. The formation's exact purpose is redacted, but we can at least examine its relationship with the redacted surrounding it. Measuring devices found trace evidence of redacted, redacted, at certain lines running from the formation to the redacted. When examined properly, four direct ritual tethers were detected. Some form of sympathetic causality connects the formation with the redacted, which means in theory that when certain redacted are performed at one, it will physically affect the other. I've been urged to note here that some individuals believe the formation responds to any fulfilment of purpose or desire in nearby individuals, although I'd like to remind those individuals that we're the parakinesthesiology department, not the parafeelings department. I'm proud to report that my team was able to design, construct, and install a permanent detection system. These arches will help rangers identify when the causal tethers are active, allowing them to better redact it. Refer to file 8-38-1989 for full report. Yes, well, okay. But yes, that's the only thing left to do, really, is just go and do the formation, well, do the jukebox over and over and over, which I don't think any of you would really be interested in seeing, but if you would, let me know in the comments below and um, we'll maybe do it, maybe we'll do it. So, this may be our last episode of Control. 
So I'll have to come up with something else for us to play on Sunday fun day. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.